Hey everybody, welcome back to Miami. We're here in the 777 Freighter from PMDG. I want to show you something that I don't normally run and I'll explain why shortly. Right now I am running DLSS performance mode. Now normally I run DLSS DLAA, but I'm showing you this for a specific reason. If you look down at the PFD and the MFD and the center display, you will notice that the images look blurry. Nothing's even in motion yet. The images look blurry and it looks really pretty poor. So let's switch over to DLAA, which is what I normally run. So here in DLAA, you can see all the text on the screens is much, much clearer. Looks way, way better. But we all know that there's a problem with DLSS and that is the ghosting on electronic flight displays. It doesn't really bother me that much because in, in the type of flying that I do, there isn't as as quick and as rapid a number change that, that's going to throw me off. It's not going to allow me to be able to perform what I need to do as a pilot. So I'm not really terribly worried about it, but a lot of people really are. And a lot of people really don't like DLSS and won't use DLSS for this very reason. So let's get a look at what we're talking about here. First of all, let's come down here and we're going to zoom in a little bit on the screens. We're going to do a normal takeoff here in the 777 freighter. So let's bring in the power here to about 40% and one. Keep an eye on the airspeed here as we get moving. Engines are stabilized. Toga power is set. Keep an eye on that airspeed. See that? And you guys know this. Everybody who's tried DLSS knows this. Doesn't bother me. But it certainly bothers a lot of people, and I can understand why. And if you look at the altitude tape as we uh, as we lift off here and, and start climbing, you're gonna see the same thing. That kind of that ghosting of the numbers. We'll get ourselves airborne here. And even the flight director bars. show some ghosting and you can see now as we climb in altitude even the altitude tape is showing some ghosting so we're going to make a little change here but there's a couple key things to look at and i'm going to tell you about them we're going to make a change we're going to see if we can fix that first things first i want to give a shout out to this channel air boss man this guy's got 358 subscribers deserves a whole lot more He's the one who showed me the thing that really makes the difference here. And it's, it, it's something I never would have thought of. We'll go into the config file here and make a quick change. And then we'll see what it does in the sim. And I'll explain as we go along what he showed me that made a difference. And I never would have guessed this. I'm going to put a link in the description to his channel, Air Boss Man. Give him some love. Did a great job with this video. I'm going to preface this by saying this works in Flight Sim 2020. It also works in Flight Sim 2024. The only difference is where you find your user CFG file. I will put the paths in the description of this video showing you where to find the paths for the CFG file in both 20 and 24. Also for both store and Steam users. So look in the description below to get those locations. Very, very simple change. We want to come here, open the user CFG file. It's going to open either in Notepad, Notepad Plus, whichever one you have. And you're going to come here to secondary scaling. It's right towards the top. And you're going to change secondary scaling from one to two. And that's all you're going to do. Save it. And let's get back in the sim. I'll tell you what this does why it works and what the secret is to making it usable. Here we are back in the sim. The first thing you're going to notice is that the background images are lighter now. I don't quite know why that happens with this. We come here to options, general options. These are my usual settings. DLSS super resolution, DLAA, frame gen, etc, etc, etc. So here we are back in Miami, back in the 777F. And this looks like it did before. These screens look perfectly clear. They even actually look a little bit more clear. And the reason is, is because what secondary scaling does is it upscales these PFDs, these flight displays. So this actually looks a little bit crisper than it did before. 
But that's not really what's amazing about this, but I'll, I'll come to, back to this in a second. So I've got DLSS DLAA running. Screens look fantastic. We're hopeful that this is gonna take care of the ghosting. Now, if you look right here at the altitude tape, I'm gonna change the altimeter. Now watch for any of the normal ghosting that we see in these number changes right here. Watch this. It looks fantastic, right? No ghosting at all. So I thought, this is fantastic, we've solved it. And then I started looking around. Look at that. That's obviously not gonna work. No way that's gonna work. So I thought, you know what, forget it. Um, it's another thing I've tried, not gonna work. Let me just reset it back to one and we're done here. This is where Boss Man comes in. He made a suggestion that I never would have thought of. And that is to lower your DLSS setting in the sim. So let's go into the settings. I'm talking about the DLSS super resolution setting. Now what Boss Man did was set his to ultra performance. And I thought to myself, you know, that's, that's way too low. And as it turns out for my particular setup with the 2K monitor, it is too low. But let's try it with performance. Now what performance does it renders the image at 50% of the normal amount of pixels and then uses AI to upscale the image to fill your screen. So now, again, looks really clear, these images, the flight displays. Now let's look around. No problems whatsoever. Let's try real quick, just bumping it up one level here and we'll see what it does on balanced. Again, looks really good. Pretty smooth, but you can see on the right hand side of the screen, anytime I'm looking right to left, I get that weird kind of shimmering. So this clearly doesn't work. But if we go back into the options, set it to performance, come back here into the sim, no issues whatsoever. And now, Let's do a little takeoff here, and I'm going to show you what we get. All right, let's set toga power. Now keep an eye on that airspeed. Airspeed's alive. Look at that. No ghosting. Zero. 80 knots. As we get up towards... V1 and rotation speed here. Keep an eye on the altitude tape as we take off. Start lifting off here. Positive rate of climb. Keep an eye on the altimeter. See that? No ghosting on that either. No ghosting on the PF on the flight director bars. No ghosting on the airspeed. Absolutely perfect. So we've eliminated the ghosting, which is absolutely amazing, but there's gotta be a trade-off, right? DLSS, it renders the image at a lower resolution and then uses AI to upscale it. You're gonna have to look at this yourself to make your own determination. I've looked at the textures here along the glare shield. I've looked at the stitching here along this portion right here inside the cockpit. I've looked around. I've compared it to DLAA with a one render scale. I think if I see a difference in it, it's because I'm convincing myself there's a difference there. Let's go outside of the airplane, take a look around. So this is rendered at 50% and then upscaled with AI. The only thing that I can see is there sometimes when you can see a little bit of artifacting here along this line that's in the water i don't i don't know why that line is even in the water um you might be able to see some things along the tr the edges like these kind of straight lines these straight lines on the wings you might see in certain situations some some kind of uh, shimmering a little bit along those types of lines but in the distance it looks absolutely crystal clear. I've looked at the buildings in the distance on the left there in the back towards the rear, downtown Miami. 
I've looked at the, the, the buildings here close up. I've looked at the airport scenery along here, and, and there's a lot of sharp edges here. I don't see any sort of shimmering there. You might see a tiny little bit of it right here. With this trick, what we have done is eliminated the ghosting on the PFDs, on the flight displays, that drives everybody crazy and prevents everybody from using DLSS. Airspeed's alive. And here's the other thing. The reason why we use DLSS, the reason we get a benefit or the benefit that we get is, as you can see, there's no ghosting at all on that screen. What DLSS gives us with an image that's rendered at a lower resolution originally and then upscaled with AI, it gives us a massive performance boost. So you're going to get, if, if you're kind of trying to struggle for a balance between performance and visuals, if you can use DLSS performance, which is going to give you a whole lot more performance overhead, if you can use that and still have the same visuals, or actually improved visuals in this case, I mean, this, uh, this is every bit as good as TAA, absolutely every bit as good. It's going to tax your system at a much lower, you know, kind of level, and you're going to get a performance boost out of this. So we get everything best of both worlds. Here is the PMDG Lufthansa, Lo Lufthansa livery, the 777 freighter. So I'm telling you guys, there's no reason not to try DLSS nowadays. Give this a shot. Let me know in the comments below how it works for you. And I hope you guys are having a great day.